What's up guys, it's Sam here with Stolt Fitness and uh, back with another workout. Make sure to smash that like button just like you smashed your girlfriend last night. Anyways, uh, I've got a shoulder workout here. Again, it was a little bit long so I put it into a uh, one and a half times the speed. I just doing some warm up to start with. The rotations I use for my rotator cuff, I do those on my chest workout as well as my shoulder workout. These right here. If you haven't seen, so these are pretty slow actually because this is at one and a half times speed. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down in the description. Also, I have a, a back training video recently. So what I'm trying to do or what I've been testing lately is actually just having a one minute total set. So if my reps take me, say, I think it's windmills here, keep getting bigger. Uh, say if my total set or my reps take me 28 seconds, that means I have 32 seconds rest before I go to the next set. I've done this twice so far for legs. For my entire workout so my entire workout is maybe 45 minutes so about 45 sets and i feel like a brand new um lifter my legs are extremely sore the next day i did film a leg workout and then my phone broke so i'm not sure if i'll be able to get the footage off of it hopefully i can if not i have to refilm it but I, when I'm done with my workout, I'm just freaking drenched. I'm just so sweaty. Um, but also, I feel like a brand new lifter the next day. My legs are so incredibly sore. Uh, so this, I went into some seated shoulder press, so, blah, 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 some seated shoulder press with the dumbbells. I was working on going back and forth between the presses and moving the camera. So I ended up being super out of breath. Yeah, you, I tried to cut out all the boring parts, but it ended up getting pretty winded quickly. So, and my tricep for some reason was cramping up. I think I left a little bit of footage in here. You can actually see the upper part of my tricep cramping up as I go through. And if anybody says anything about my haircut, uh, you can thank my hair dresser, which I've been cutting my own hair for years. As you can see, I fucking missed a big spot, it looks like, or the line is not even slightly straight on the back of the head there. <laughs> uh, so, this uh, that um, total set of one minute, so the, whatever it takes me to do my reps, plus the remainder of the minute is my rest period. I've done that for legs twice, uh, I've done it for back once. Uh, this, this was my first time for shoulders. It felt good. I did film this a couple days ago. The so, yeah, shoulders for me don't get super sore. Very rarely. They are slightly sore today. My rear delts are a little sore. So this is actually when my triceps started to cramp up. I think I stand up and I'll show you. But uh, I'm working for more hypertrophy. And I wanted to try something out that's going to give my still give me uh, the, the size I want through hypertrophy and damaging the muscle, but without having uh, to damage potentially, where is it? Oh, here it is. Look at the upper part of my horseshoe. See that right there? It's a little painful. It's cramping up while I was doing my set. That also messed up my timing because I was trying to keep these all under a minute. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so I've been doing the sets for one, or the, um, yeah, the total set for one minute. I'm trying to see if I can still get extremely sore for every body part and still build size that way while I'm, you know, cutting my workout time in half. So far on the legs, it has been uh, very helpful. Or, I mean, at least it seems like uh, they've been extremely sore. Uh, at the end of this month, I start to bulk, and I will have some good content around then. I'm going to start, I think, a video series on my bulk. I'm going to be focusing on three uh, 
three specific areas along, I mean, the whole body, but mainly my back, shoulders, and arms. I'd like to do a men's physique show in Florida. Currently, I'm in Hawaii, but I will be moving to Florida before the end of the year. So I'm, I'm just exhausted at this point. Excuse me. I'm not sure how many sets I ended up doing. And the Arnold here. And you can see the arm where my tricep was cramping is just going up a little bit slower than the other arm. And I think I'm showing you that I have like 35 pounds or 30 pounds, oh, 40 pounds. Yeah, not much. <laughs> so if I, uh, if I am not able to get all my reps in, I will end up setting it on my lap or dropping it quick and then just starting again to get back into it. <laughs> Yeah, this was a good workout. I'm gonna go to the gym shortly. I, it's uh, about 4.15 in the afternoon. I'm gonna hit some back this evening. Yeah, I've got 30 pounds right now. My shoulders are dying. So my, the anterior part of my shoulder was not sore at all the next day. But as you can see, as I get through more of this workout, I did a lot more of work for the medial or the like side head of my shoulder and that's what I've been working on and that that is the actual part that in my rear delt was were the areas that were actually sore and they're still slightly sore today but the uh, anterior part or the front part of my shoulder was not sore and that tends to be sore when, when I do say chest or something a little bit so I'm glad that I was able to get the side of my shoulder sore and as I work through this video or through this workout, you can actually see that, you know, I, it's getting more uh, challenging because I, my skin is fucking shiny now. Excuse me, I'm getting sweaty. I have uh, these lateral raises. I think I'm, it's going super quick because the one and a half times speed, but I think I have 20s or possibly 25s here. And I'm not sure. And so this was my entire routine. If, uh, if you tracked everything that I did in this video, this is my entire routine. I did not do anything else before this or afterwards. This is the whole thing. So if you count up all of these sets that I did, that is the total number of sets I had in for the day and roughly the number of minutes. Um, if I have any uh, issue with my camera, then I might have an extra minute or so of rest but as long as there's no issues with my camera it's just going to be the number of sets that I do in the video because I don't fit I don't take out any of the sets while I'm editing I just try to take out the rest periods in between sets. so the other day I got a new iPhone and I went from a Samsung first thing I noticed was the voice recognition on it is not nearly as good as Google's because the on Samsung it uses a Google, it uses uh, Google's voice recognition. It's not nearly half as good. Or maybe, and maybe one of you guys can let me know down in the comments if the uh, if Apple's actually gets better with time. Also, speaking of the comments, if you guys have any questions about any um, of the things that I'm doing or why you're not reaching your goals, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them. And if you enjoy any of the content I put out. Make sure to press that like button and subscribe, especially if this is your first time. Check out new content. I'm putting it out all the time. I just uh, filmed a hike that I hopefully will have the footage out for that. So what do you guys want me to talk about in these uh, training videos? Because otherwise I'll just be blabbing on and on for 15 minutes through them. So I did two, I think, rear delt exercises during here. And I know somebody's gonna be like, oh, this is a tricep exercise. Yes, it is a tricep primary exercise. It also does some of your shoulders, but I was actually working on it for my triceps. Uh, a lot of times when I do uh, shoulders, I will hit a little triceps as well. Depending on the week, I don't always hit arms, so I try to do maybe a little bit of 
buys on back day and a little bit of tries on chest day and shoulder day. It doesn't always happen that way. Like last week, I didn't do any arms. And that's why one of my, that shoulders and back are one of the, are the three areas I'm focusing on over this next bulk. Because I tend to, if I'm going to skip a body part, I tend to skip arms. And it's been that way for a couple of years. So I'm trying to put a little bit more emphasis on making sure that I don't skip arm day and making sure that I keep some extra um, work in, some extra volume in on my arms on different days. So even if I do skip arm day, I will have hit at least a little bit throughout. The the way this is angled right here, my arm looks bigger than my legs. That's awesome. Those traps. I don't know if any of you guys watched the Olympia this past weekend. Today is uh, September 19th. I watched the Olympia. It would have been nice if uh, Kai Green was competing. Well, I didn't see. I knew he wasn't. I knew he wasn't going to be there. I also thought Big Ramy was going to place a lot better. He looks. He looked smaller, but I also think he looked really good. Especially, he was having a lot of fun out there when uh, you know he would be playing with his leg and throwing his, his um, quads back and forth, and then he'd flex it, and his his legs are just so incredibly fucking massive compared to everybody else's he did he is down weight from last year he still looked really good i prefer the bigger look but he's way better condition this year i thought he was going to um i thought he was definitely going to place higher than he did oh well if you guys watched the olympia let me know who your favorite was down in the comments below i also um i also like uh what's his name dallas mccarver I think he, I think he is, uh, I mean, he's only 25 or something like that. He's already freaking massive. He's 6'1 or 6'2, competing like 290. That's freaking ridiculous. He's not even at his prime yet. He's going to, he's going to be competing over 300 in the next couple of years. Guarantee it. Because he's only 25. Give him until he's 27, 29. Put on another 10, 15 pounds. And he'll be doing the Olympia over 300 pounds. He is also the person, I believe, who has the biggest fucking calves of the lineup for the Olympia. So this is the second exercise that I did for rear delt here. Squeezing this. Yeah, so when I go, right now I'm at 3,500 calories. Uh, when I start bulking at the end of this month, um, I'm probably going to just jump straight to 4,500 and, and then I'm going to check the progress at the end of October to see. So I do flex sometimes in the middle of sets, even though it's using more energy. Oh, and then I also, this is just a 10 pound uh, plate. I think I did a couple sets of 30. That's the other reason my medial delt was uh, sore. Excuse me. Just trying to bring out the lower lats for my back over the next five months or so. So I think I'll stop start stop uh, bulking on in February at some point. And I'm finishing up with the little bit of triceps here. I think I may have done some more I do more rear delt though first yeah so I'm excited though to start bulking um the extra thousand calories or so uh is going to Mainly be carbs, because I'm fairly low in my carb, under 200 grams a day right now. So adding in those extra carbs is going to be nice. Uh, out here in Hawaii, they actually have these um, rice cups things. It's already pre-made, and you can just throw it into uh, like the microwave or something. 
Uh, I think I might test out one of those so it'll save me time cooking. I'm all about uh, saving time. There's no seasoning or anything and you can get organic brown rice in these cups and they're already pre-made where you can just get white rice or you can get organic white rice and there's all sorts of different options so I'll probably play with a couple of them and see they come in, uh, I think it's a uh, seven ounces per container so I almost tried them this last week and then I was like no I'll wait till the end of the month and try them uh, again if you guys enjoy this video if you're still fucking watching make sure to press that like button let me know that you actually watched this to the end down below in the comments and uh, and subscribe to see <laughs> subscribe to see more videos like this in the future and I will talk to you then Look at that back. <laughs> yeah.